those wigs <laughs> straight off my head. Hello and welcome to another video. Hello. Today joining me is Lauren who you've seen in a million of my videos so far and we're going to be talking about, because it's almost Earth Day, sustainability and ethics and how to be an eco-friendly cosplayer. Yeah. Um, so we kind of both did this because we're both really eco-friendly people and we both really care about the environment but we also love cosplaying and I think a lot of people run into the issue of like what to do with cosplays once they're done or like like the fashion industry is probably the most waste producing yeah I think it's the second, <laughs> uh, most. second most waste producing just thing in the world so as cosplayers who like use fashion a lot it should be like our responsibility to make more sustainable for our future. Yeah, and a lot of different stores too that supply cosplayers with costumes, contacts, wigs, all that fun stuff have kind of been under blessed lately for not being the most ethical, the most diverse and open-minded and just sustainable and like, yeah. Okay, so the first thing on this list is secondhand market. Once you're done with a character completely, there will always be a marketplace of people who want to buy your like used cosplays at a discounted price. There's a bunch of different Facebook groups that you can join of people who are in search of ISO specific characters or who are just looking to buy anything, people who are selling their cosplays, and it's a really good place to start too because obviously then uh, this person who doesn't want their, co their cosplay, it's going to you. So not only are you getting it at a discount price, but also, if you bought it new, that manufacturer would have to make another cosplay, which is using up materials and is the greatest for the environment. And if someone didn't buy this costume, then it'd probably end up in a landfill somewhere. But uh, yeah. Tell us about that, like upcycling and thrifting. Uh, like you can always take fabric from like old curtains, bed sheets, scrap fabric that you or other people have or old costumes that you can just like unstitch and reuse that for, use that for like patterns. Or just like taking clothing from like the thrift store and then turning it into something new. Like that's been kind of a trend recently where it's like, this is what I got at the thrift store, let's alternate it into something super cute. Um, so that's like a really good thing that you can also do for cosplay. Yeah, if you want to cosplay uh, characters from like Voltron for example, those outfits are so easy to thrift too. Like uh, for Shiro, for example, like I literally just went into my dad's closet and I like stole his shirt and then I stole like my brother's belt from it and it, I just made it with stuff that I had like lying around the house apart from like the arm and I got a few things from Joann's for the best, but like. My cosplay from Lance is completely stuff I already just had and wear every day. Yeah. In general, so. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing against like closet cosplays either and just no. dressing up with what you have already. Also Warbla. I know Warbla is kind of expensive, but because it is a thermoplastic, what's really cool about it is you can take all the scraps that you use from like when you cut it out and then you can melt them together and then shape them again. So it's like you're really using everything you have and if you don't like it, you can just heat it up again and then reuse it. So you can reuse it, you're using everything. And yes, it is a plastic, but it is reusable and you can use it whenever and you can reuse it again and it's really easy to work with and there's no waste whatsoever. I actually didn't know this either. This is something I just learned like 10 minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, it's really yeah. cool. I've always wanted to use Formula, but it's yeah. never happened. Cause like, I'm... it is expensive, yeah. but you're using everything. And then also like the trick for like uh, EVA foam is like definitely want to get everything close together. But also if you're like doing patterns, like instead of cutting a V, just cut a straight line, heat it up with a heat gun, and then just work it into that shape. Because you're saving like all the room you can. It's extreme like detailing. You get the exact shape and it saves like a crap ton of time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, going off of patterning too, uh, something that I do whenever I draft patterns is I just draw it out first on like scratch paper or a sketchbook or whatever. And then I use newspaper because like if you, I don't know if you, people still get the mail 
still get the mail, still get the news in the mail, but like we do. So I, whenever we get like newspapers, that's just what I use. Otherwise, if there's like paper that no one is using from like flyers or whatever, I'll just tape those together and I'll make patterns out of them. I am the CEO for using the same way for different cosplays <laughs> way too many times. If you see my post, it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, this is my actual hair. I use this for cosplay sometimes. <laughs> um, and there's nothing wrong with that too. But like, I have, I bought one red wig and I use it for Ariel, Plessel, Poison Ivy, Kirishima. If there's a redhead, it is using that with Avantika. Yeah. I'm saving money. I do the exact same thing to you where I reuse like the same three wigs. Like that short black wig, I use that for like you and Keith and uh, that one guy from BNHA that I can't think of the name of. Yeah. I've known cosplayers who buy new wigs for every single character, even though two people will have like the exact same hairstyles. It's just like, it's, it's consumerism. You don't need that you don't much. Need it. <laughs> and it's just expensive too. Like we just use the short black wig too, which is just like for me to cosplay as Hanukkah. I just, I didn't even change it. I just changed the it. hair yeah. part a little bit and then put on a, <laughs> like an orange bandana and that was Hanukkah. Plus, like if you get a longer wig too, you can always curl it, uncurl it, all that fun stuff. But yeah, you can always reuse the same wig for multiple characters. Or um, like a thing I did is one of my friends, uh, he recently did a uh, Dragon Girl Rampa cosplay. And like they have huge like swirls on their head. So he used a long wig and they cut off most of it to do the swirl. And I literally just like, I texted him and I was like, hey, can you save me those, like the hair you cut off? And I just like glued them onto like um, a plastic cutting board. And then I made them into webs. So, That's so <laughs> like, cool. You because can, you can really do it with anything, or you can use it as like a fabric. You can actually make a webs out of yarn too, which is yeah. really cool. Or like you can add from like old wigs. Um, yeah, even if you get like a cheap wig off of, well, this is an ethical video. We're not gonna say Amazon. Uh, if I like get, Amazon wigs. <laughs> we do not like Amazon at this household. Well, my mom loves Amazon. I do not support Amazon whatsoever. They're terrible human beings. But anyways, <laughs> if you get like a really cheap wig from like Map of Beauty or whatever, uh, you know how those are like really, really thin? You can always get wefts and sew them in so you don't have to buy a brand new wig. Or if someone else has a very like cheap wig, the same color, you can cut off those wefts and sew them into yours. Or if you're doing like a ponytail, just take some cardboard out of like a box you're not using. Put the cardboard like in the smaller ponytail, use wefts, cover it, and then you have a thick ponytail. That is so smart. I never would have thought of that. See, I'm a very cheap person. <laughs> like, part of being eco-friendly, surprisingly, is being extremely cheap. And as a college student, yeah. I do that very well. Um, this is actually part of a cosplay I'm doing is Camp Counselor Leafeon. <laughs> and I'm using, I'm reusing my blonde wig for that and I'm just clipping in green wefts. And I'm just like, I'm done. <laughs> I'm just putting it perfect. <laughs> but I also, I wear this all the time. It's just made from, um, Save the Lands, which is a really good eco-friendly place. And it's like this shirt just planted 12 trees. It's made out of reuse, like reusable things. My oh. pants are made from uh, recycled water bottles actually. Wait. And like 35% linen. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> um, I just go thrifting. Like 80% of my closet right now is either hand-me-downs or like thrifted. Oh yeah, we live through that, but like, thrift or just get like eco-friendly stuff um yeah. because like you know this like it's a good shirt i like this shirt it's a save like save the forest but also it planted 12 trees and i got to like donate to a charity that like really needed it and i got like a cool shirt out of it so heck yeah i don't know how to pronounce her name i'm just gonna send the link to laney but a cosplayer that i really admire is called avanti geek and she usually takes curtains or just like random stuff that she finds and she makes the most beautiful cosplays. 
she made a Mountain Dew dress out of like oh God, bottles and like boxes that she's just found from other people and like she's inspiring me and my group to do a food chain cosplay group where it's like I'm Lady Tivana and I'm seriously just asking all my like Starbucks friends like just have them give the like the tea bag wrappers and then I'm using it to make a skirt. So it's like it's a fun alternate way to do fashion but like you can make paper dresses, you can make cardboard dresses, um, you can make it out of like different boxes. You can make a throne out of like Domino's pizza. Oh my god, boxes. <laughs> There's a cosplay cosplayer I follow, but like due to the new Instagram algorithm, I never see this kid's posts, which is really annoying because I like can't find this account anymore. But uh, I don't know their pronouns, so I'm gonna use they them just be safe. They make all of their cosplays out of yarn, like hand crocheted, and it's phenomenal. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. But like, it's intense. right? Like so much talent right there, but also like, I, I don't know if everybody has yarn around their house, but I definitely have a bunch of yarn around my house. So I, yeah. I can't crochet though. I'm so bad at it. I've tried, it's bad. But I think that's like a, also a really cool thing to do in the cosplay community because like I saw like a, like a Happy Meal Ronald McDonald armor thing and it was just like stuff that like he just got from kids from like going from like McDonald's house or like Starbucks like Starbucks employees like reusing their outfits and stuff and making it into a cosplay and it's like it's a really good way to like get creative and create your own thing and like sponsor something you really like like Wendy's or Mountain Dew and then it's fun and you get to make it your own and it's also like recycling yeah yeah Oh, and uh, totally random too, but you can actually take plastic bags and kind of like weave them and knit them together. So if you like need a tote as a con bag or something, that's like always a thing you can do. I use so much glitter all the time, constantly. It's a problem, but I don't care. But glitter is, um, it's usually made out of plastic, but it gets everywhere. So I started using like surreal makeup and bio glitz. So it's biodegradable glitter that's made from like earth friendly materials and it's safe on skin, it's hypoallergenic, but it's also like it donates to things too. Yeah, going off of surreal makeup too, I own some of their eyeshadows. They're really, really high quality. A lot of my makeup eyeshadow palettes donates to like saving endangered animals, but they're really high quality. So like if you're going to spend a lot of money on makeup or like you're a makeup enthusiast, like do something that like you can recycle, that donates to other things, that's made out of vegan materials, not tested on animals. Because like one, they make sure that stuff is super high quality. Two, like I find it's good for the skin. And then three, it's like you're not wasting anything and you don't have to like throw away so much makeup. Bring your own water bottle to a con. Um, stay, like, be a hydro homie, guys. <laughs> oh, yes. So I learned this a few weeks ago in my bio class, and it was really disturbing. But uh, don't buy bottled water. Not only is it really bad for the environment, but also they only test it once per year. And the manufacturers, they don't have to recall it. They don't have to tell their customers if there's high level of toxins in there. So it's very, very probable that you're drinking something with a lot of toxins in it that hasn't been tested. Whereas tap water is tested multiple times per day. It has very, very strict toxin regulations. Like tap water in America, it's so clean. Or like go so, to Starbucks. They triple filter that water. Yeah. <laughs> and plus it's always at a good temperature. You can reuse the water bottles, but just like bring a water bottle to a con because First of all, I know you guys are not drinking. You're not staying hydrated. Stay hydrated, Stop you doing that. <laughs> Stop doing that. Um, and second of all, just like, I see so many like plastic cups and just trash all over the con halls and it's kind of gross. And just a lot of that could be like eliminated with like water bottles. I personally have mine in like my fanny pack. Yeah, like I normally carry around a backpack with me and it's just like in the side pocket. It's always good to have too, especially if your friends are not staying hydrated. You can just take it, shove it in their face, and be like, 
drink water, you fool. Another thing is to, if you're caught, like, I think this should just be in general, if you're cosplaying someone, make sure it's a character you love, like, yeah. absolutely. Like, you're not gonna be like, oh, I'm just gonna wear this once and then it's gonna never wear it again. I'm, I'm very guilty of that. I got pressured into a lot of cosplay groups I didn't want to be a part of when I was younger. But now when I cosplay, because I am a pro college student, it's like, this needs to be a character I love, I'm gonna wear a million times, I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life. Definitely do a character that you are absolutely in love with and you're gonna wear that cosplay multiple times or you can use it for different cosplays or you can like re-scrap old cosplays and then use it for a new one. But just like wear it multiple times, especially if it's like a foam armor or like very specific detailed plasticky cosplay. Yeah, because like that's just it's a lot of material. It's a really expensive one and it deserves to be seen more than once like you guys are all talented and two it's just It's just a lot of waste and it's just gonna be like doing nothing but being in the landfill I feel like every time I go to a con I'm guilty of this. I will buy everything in sight uh, What I do <laughs> so I don't buy everything Although I'm very tempted to is I kind of set out a budget for myself where I say Okay, I'm not gonna spend more than $20 today on like merchandise and art and all that fun stuff. I mean, I do the same thing. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then I, uh, I go through the artist alley or the dealer's hall and I don't buy anything my first time, but I look around and I see what I really like and then I leave and I go through my convention and I have a good time. But if there's something that I'm still thinking about and I still constantly think of like, wow, that I don't, give me an example. That plushie was so that, cute. Yeah. <laughs> that keychain was so cool. That resin cone was adorable. If I'm still thinking about that, that, that like little resin thingy bobber, then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna buy it because I know that I'm gonna really regret it and I probably will never see it again. But I just don't buy stuff on site. I always come back and I think about it because there's a good chance that like you're just gonna forget about it and it's not gonna matter and you're never gonna use it. So yeah, that's kind of my logic is if you keep thinking about it, then it's meant to be. I think we went over everything. I think so too. I think we knocked out everything on the list. I mean, but also like do what you love, keep cosplaying, keep yeah. being creative and making things. Like really do that. But also just be conscientious of like your waves and your carbon footprint. Yeah, and just be more kind to the earth. Yeah, the earth is a good girl. Happy Earth Day! <laughs> yeah, happy Earth Day! Hopefully this wasn't too depressing, but... If you have any bleh, if you have any tips on how to be more eco-friendly as a cosplayer, comment them down below. Send them to me in a DM. Happy Earth Day! <laughs> happy Earth Day! Bye! <laughs> Bye! Thanks for joining us!